What's up, guys? We have a really good video for you guys. Video for you guys today. A uh, review on a PC Fine Fishing tackle bag. Um, so we're recording this on the same day. It's gonna come out to you guys a couple days later, just so we could record a couple videos and get them out to you guys, so we didn't have to worry about that. But this is the PC Fine back fishing backpack. I have one at home, but I'm at Jackson, so I don't have mine on me. I have a digital camo color. He has this color is a really nice bag and he's going to show you different compartments and stuff he has in it so first compartment i'm going to start with this so you can keep a lot of stuff in here but this also works as just like so basically this is like keep your lures in here that are like if you're using extras just throw them in here and they'll, they'll stay really nice and like some extra soft plastics yeah. or like wine. yeah throw them in here or if you're on the dock and you're trying to Texas rig something, leave it here, grab your ho four hooks out, and start Texas rigging. So, flip it over to this side. I keep all my tools here. I have a clamp, scissors. Um, this is this is a uh, rope to help if you ever um, get a fish, you can leave it through the gills and you just hold it up. And then in here, I have both my Leathermans. It's just a basic multi-tool with like a knife, pliers, um, what else, bottle opener, I think? Bottle, can openers. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I keep these in here is to unhook fish, which uh, should be happening co pretty soon because it's almost springtime. And um, we have some juicy ideas for you guys that I hope you guys like. All right, second compartment. This is where I store all my soft plastics up top in here. So I have all my goods and soft plastics. Then I have gulp red worms. Good for bluegill, shallow. Trout nuggets, which are good for catfish, bass, and trouts. And um, we have the, I have this little box that just keeps all of my spoons in it. I have another box that keeps like little small soft plastics in it. And my buzz baits. So this can fit a lot of stuff in it. I have Guggen Mondo Worms, a bunch of other Guggen baits. But this compartment's really good for keeping soft plastics and any really small boxes that you need to put in there. All right. Next compartment is just on top of this compartment. And yes, I do say on top of it, sunglass holder. Now I'm not a big sunglass guy, but this is good for anybody that wants to bring sunglasses if it's a really bright and hot day outside. All right, on this side is a bottle opener. You fasten it down or loosen it out, it can fit anything inside of here, which is really good if you are trying to bring water with you, Gatorade, Powerade, me personally, I like to bring body armor with me, which is really good to keep yourself energized. All right, we have Bass Pro line. I keep all my lines, my spinners, and um, I have extra soft plastics that fit in here. There's two or three compartments, one with a Velcro, one with a little divider, and then another all the way in the back that's pressed up against it. You can keep extra soft plastics. As you see, I have Gary Yamamoto's. Great soft plastic lure for Texas rigging and even wacky rigging. Yeah. Wanna do the main compartment? All right, now we're gonna do this compartment right here and then we'll get to the main compartment after. This compartment, pretty simple. Same thing as the other side. As you see, I have some mesh right here that holds down my box with other spoons in it. I have this right here, which is where I can keep where you guys can keep extra soft plastics if you ever buy this. Which I would say you want to buy this. This is a very good tackle bag for anybody that goes on long hikes to get to the lake in your backyard, and it's just good for storage, and so you don't have tackle boxes lying around everywhere. So this, this is the main compartment, kept with straps, so the boxes stay in. If this ever opens up accidentally on the boat and the boat's rocking these won't fall out because this is restraining it. In this right here, you have, I have my terminal tackle box, all my hooks inside of it, and all my bobbers. Here. All right, this, so the PC Fun tackle bag comes with four of its own types of boxes, which if you get, you can order it with or without boxes. It depends on if you already have boxes that are similar to this. I think it's a, I think it's like what, 20, 30 bucks cheaper without boxes? Yeah. But if you don't have boxes, you can see right here, you can just open it up. And you get four boxes with the cam, uh, with the, this one you get two, uh, one double-sided box, 
with the one he has, Digital Camo, he also gets one double-sided box. But if you get the black one, which is the most expensive one, you get two double-sided boxes and two regular-sized boxes. So in this box right here, it comes with this little attachment. It's like a briefcase holder. You put it on the side, and it clips in. And it's really good for soft plastics, which I use that I for use my terminal a lot. tackle. He uses this for his yeah. terminal tackle. I put like hooks and weights on each side. So in this, I have lots of different soft plastics, ribbon tail worms, uh, the woolly bug, the uh, pocket chunk, which is like a net bait little thing. And then I have a bunch of uh, gulp little uh, minnows and stuff, curly tail worms, uh, crappie bait. And then now... Um, the, this is where I keep all my Senkos. I have two Rattler Neds, Gary Yamamoto Senkos, which are amazing for Texas rigging and really good. Some more Gary Yamamoto Grubs. I have the, um, what do you call it? The Bat, uh, Bass Pro Shop Ribbon Tail Worm, which is good for just slow reeling, slow cranking on a nice summer day. I have the, uh, Gulp Red, uh, Red-tailed curly tail grubs. Speaking of curly tail worms, we're gonna um be posting a new video soon, maybe like March fourth or fifth, when we actually receive the new Guggen blazing worms that come out March first. So like and subscribe, leave a comment for that. Now this is just a little deep sea fishing lure. I don't think we'll probably be going deep sea fishing on this channel anytime soon, but got this. And then next is um I have a crankbait box, which really good so i don't want to focus too much time but you get the point i got crankbaits i got a lot of stuff and i'm not showing off i'm not trying to show off i'm just trying to show give you guys ideas of what you guys can store in your boxes because and then this is my favorite box um we have top water we have and we have um rooster tails which um are really good Oh, and uh, shout out to Guggen. They make amazing lures, and I have the Guggen Revolver. Haven't used it yet, but it looks amazing, and I've used a bunch of other different Guggen lures, so I could imagine this would be just like it. We might leave a link in the description to um, their yeah. website if you want to go and buy some lures for yourself. Yeah, look at that um, drift bait. Where else would you get that? Looking like that, where would you get that? You can't find that no. anywhere else. Nowhere. They have... This one's a plopper. They have jerk baits. They have swim baits. They have jigs. And I'm just a big fan of you. And they have a lot of soft plastics. They're other YouTubers just like us. And, you know, um, so they're you just really, really overall good fishermen. I'll show you some of their soft plastics, actually. Um, we have a ton, actually. I think I have more than Jackson. But, yeah. But, um, what is this? So, we actually have one of their newer baits, the Nuke Punch. Which is wow. really good. We haven't and got to test it out yet, but we've been watching some looks really good. Squad videos, and it looks really good for flipping and pitching. Flipping and pitching. It's basically a bandito bug without the side appendages. It still has a back one. It's good for a punch rig, too. Yeah, it's good for um, trailers, because a lot of times you would put a bandito bug on like the back of a sw spinnerbait or jig. This you is can. really good for a trailer, just like the Duke Punches. So this is my uh, Guggen Saucy Swimmer. We have the, um, what is this? This is a uh, gray and a, a black and blue shad. 3.8 um, inch. I don't want to get too much into the Guggen lures because I'll do a Guggen uh, overload view video for you guys. And we'll, he'll bring in all his Guggen, I'll bring in all my Guggen, and we'll get down to what is the best Guggen bait. So subscribe, like for that, leave a comment down below. Link is in the description to Guggen website. Catch you on the next one.